Well, hey guys, I'm glad to have you here with me. We're going to be looking in the Bible and pulling some wisdom out of there for everyday living, hopefully making everyday life a little bit better, maybe even a lot bit better. Um, guys, if you know me very well at all, you'll know that I'm a, basically a peacekeeper in life. I hate rocking the boat emotionally and causing conflict. I would much rather personally on a selfish level if there's conflict in the room part of me just wants to run away um, not a healthy way to live don't get me wrong uh, but on a purely selfish level that's me i love peace i love the, the ease of life when everyone's getting along and i'm, I'm here to try kind of uh, bring that out the book of proverbs has a lot of good wisdom for life so Let's take a look at what it has. Proverbs chapter 17, verse 1. Let's look at it. It says, Better a dry crust eaten in peace than a house filled with feasting and conflict. Ah, it's right there. Guys, it, it's better to have a piece of uh, stale bread eaten with people whose company you're enjoying and they're enjoying yours there's just no conflict than to be able to have this huge table laden with food, all your favorite stuff, and the people you're with are just bickering. That's the way I feel. <laughs> that's, that's a part of me that causes to run away. Now, like I said, I, I can take it to an unhealthy level uh, and avoid conflict that needs to happen and can happen in a healthy way. But, I mean, so often what we're doing is causing conflict. We know, especially when it comes to family, we know those little buttons to push and we just do it. I don't know, it, it's like the little brother or the little sister in all of us that just wants to aggravate somebody. And uh, maybe it starts out in innocent fun and then temperatures get a little hotter and suddenly it explodes into an argument, bringing up the past and the wrongs that have been done to each other. I don't know. There's a hundred different ways we can get in conflict. Heck, marriage, most of marriage is, um, at least most of the conflict in marriage, is stupid things like, you know, did you leave the toilet seat up or down, or did you squeeze the toothpaste in the middle or at the end? All the fun stuff like that. And we can argue about the dumbest things in the world. We can argue about some of the most important things in the world, things of theology and, and, and who, I don't know, all, all kinds of things and anything in between, but that's not what God wants from us. As a matter of fact, in the book of Romans, let's take a look at it. Romans chapter 12, verse 18, he says this, do all that you can to live in peace with everyone. Do all that you can to live in peace with everyone. That's, that's a powerful statement. I want you guys, and I want me, myself, to latch on to it in a healthy way, when there's conflict that needs to happen, when there's a subject that needs to be brought up and worked through, then do it. Do it in a healthy way. Don't attack the person, attack the issue. Don't, don't be insulting, don't be disrespectful. Things like that are, are tools that counselors have taught us and are under biblical, I think, in themselves. Uh, and we can use those things to work through an issue in a way that doesn't involve us wanting to cause bodily harm on the other person. But guys, there's lots of things that we can just let go of. Like whether the toilet seat's up or down. You know, the man in me says, okay, if I can put the toilet seat down, you can put the toilet seat up for me. I mean, right, it works both ways, theoretically, right? But, you know, honestly, it's not a fight worth having. I can put that toilet seat down. I can live without asking her to put it up for me. It's one second of my life. Not a big deal. That's the way a lot of our conflicts are. They're not a big deal. So as far as you can, and it takes, well, as far as you can, live at peace. But the key to that is forgiveness. Maybe on a small level, like I said, that toilet seat up or down, just forgiving the fact that you can live without um, it being the way you want it and just valuing the way your wife 
prefers it over the way I do. All that's small potatoes, but it's a little piece of forgiveness. And this forgiveness is really the key to it in those situations. So I just want to encourage you, don't fight unnecessary fights. When there is a fight that needs to happen, go for it. Handle it in a healthy way. But when you don't, let it go. All right, guys, that's it. I love you, and I will see you next time. Bye.